Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV, guys. Today I'm checking out. Will you ever learn the Korean? Mus. Wait, I'm gonna pronounce the name. I'm gonna try. Mufti Mek. Guys, tell me if I did it well in the conversation, guys. Guys, let's go straight into this. One very important reminder: when you aim high, do not be impatient. It is a struggle of a lifetime. You want to learn. Learning, the process continues up to death. It doesn't stop. If you want to learn, the process continues up to death. It doesn't stop. Subhanallah. So don't think I want to learn and five minutes later, ten minutes later, you think you're a knowledgeable person. Just because you heard one lecture. Just because you attended a motivational talk. That's not what it's all about. You will have to struggle. Put an effort. People say, I want to learn more about the deen. Well, Firstly, you have to search for it. Secondly, you have to register. Thirdly, you will have to spend your time, your money, your effort, your energy. Subhanallah. There are a lot of people whom, if Justin Bieber was to come here to KL, they wouldn't mind paying a thousand ringgits. They wouldn't mind paying 10,000 ringgits. They wouldn't mind borrowing money in order to have a seat somewhere nearby. And sometimes, Muslimin. Subhanallah. I remember in one country, and I won't mention it because I don't want to poke. But at the same time, I remember in one country, one of these actors was coming through and they say all the VIP tables were paid off by Muslimin. By Muslimin. The same Muslims whom when there's something religious happening and in order to cover costs, there is an expense and that is shared among the people, they are the first to complain. How can you charge 30 ringgits, 100 ringgits? Well, how can you do this? But brother, you are ready to pay a thousand for someone else who's going to take you in another materialistic direction. The direction that is heading in towards the left, for example. This one is taking you straight to Jannah. Shaitan will come to you. That's his job. What's Shaitan's job? He has a job and he is very, very focused. Remember this. A lot of us lose our own focus. Shaitan never loses focus. He knows what he wants. When it's time for salah, he has to distract you. When it's time for something good, he will make you complain. He will make you have thoughts. He will make things come to your mind. He will make you find fault with people. Someone is speaking solid facts from the Quran and the Sunnah. Shaitan will come to you and make you think in your heart, you know what? This guy, I don't want to listen to him because he doesn't do whatever I do in terms of what came down through my forefathers to me. And that's, I've been doing it for years on end. The man is speaking to you from what Allah said, from what the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, change your life. Lend him an ear. Listen, some people are too scared to listen. They don't want to listen. They say, no, no, no. If I listen to this, I'm going to have to change my life. Listen to it. Wallahi, it is a message that Allah intended for you. Subhanallah. Allah will ask you about it. My word, I sent it down for you. Why didn't you read it? Why didn't you try to understand the word of Allah? You would never be fooled by people of the globe. Only if you understood the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, people are making a mockery of religion. You know why? We haven't even aimed to understand the word of Allah. What aspirations do we have? We haven't even aimed to understand the Quran. And so, whatever we do sometimes is contaminated with so many other things because the filter that is there, we've refused to put it, to use it. When Allah asks you, what did you do? My word, I sent it to you and I gave you a life of 70 whole years. In 70 years, you could not make the effort to learn my word to you. It would have taken you five years out of 70 to study that properly, correctly, thoroughly. You didn't even do that much. What answer do you want to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This is why my brothers and sisters, let us aim very, very high. And let us understand, it is the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has shaitan working on us in order for us to be able to achieve a greater reward. Some people ask, well, why did Allah create the devil? And why does the devil, you know, lead us astray, try to deviate us? That is because you will achieve a reward by simply understanding. This is coming from the devil. I stay away from it. Just staying away from it, you've already achieved the reward. That's the plan of Allah. 
So this is why it's not only engaging in good deeds, but it's also abstaining from prohibitions. Shaitan will come and beautify things. The Quran says that. Shaitan will beautify for you so many things. It's up to you to be strong. It's up to you to be able to restrain yourself. And it's up to you to be strong enough to fulfill the command of Allah when shaitan is making you lazy. Laziness. A lot of us and wallahi, a lot of us, myself included, we can do much, much, much better when it comes to recitation of the Quran on a daily basis. Don't you agree? There we are. I can do better as well. The amount we read, sometimes we haven't read and the day has passed. How dare you? Who gave you this day? It was Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. You mean you didn't pick up his book and read one verse, two verses? You didn't? How dare you? May Allah forgive us all. Pick up the word of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. First thing in the morning, open it out. Read at least a page. This is for those who aspire for Jannah. You want paradise. Do not divorce yourself from the word of Allah. Because that would mean you are divorcing yourself from your own aspirations. Oh. Guys, I can boldly and honestly say she's the best Muslim teacher I've ever listened to. I'm going to give reasons. First of all, he, he talks from the Quran. He makes, I, I feel goosebumps. Like, this is not the first time I'm listening to him. I, I feel goosebumps every time I listen to him, guys. Like, the first time I checked him out was when he was reciting the Quran. And he was crying. And God, I felt like crying too. I, I felt goosebumps the first time I listened to him. And I love the fact that he's trying to preach. I won't use the word preach, the word. Like, he's trying to explain reasons from the Quran. Like, he's not dragging Christians into it, he's not dragging Hindu, Hinduism into it, he's just going straight to the Quran. Like, he's preaching to you from the Quran. Like, he's trying to make you understand from the Quran. And, like, it's beautiful. Like, when you see someone explaining something you really need to know from the main source, it's amazing. It stands out, guys. It stands out from the rest. Like, I love his teaching. And he says that he makes sense. He's trying to make you see reason why you should do things. And he's using himself as an example. Like, it just makes sense. Like, to be honest, if anyone was to convert me to Islam, I honestly think he would be the one guy. Because I love the way, like, he talks, the way he proves his point, the way he makes you understand that you are supposed to be focused on God. Like, he gave you this life. Like, you're not supposed to be too busy for him. Like, that is rubbish. God is supposed to be your ultimate priority. And I love the way he makes us say this. Like, God, God, please recommend more of the video, guys. I want to check out more of his video on my channel, guys. He is super good. I said, what think about the video, guys? Tell me if this helped you. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.